I actually decided to do this class because I want to be a software engineer in the future. The myth command, excellent. Now for the challenge part. I was thinking about doing it as a career for a little bit. Maybe I'd do it on the side. I just love computers in general, so. You guys in? I mean, you could do a lot of things with computer science and make a big impact. Three, two, one, go. Code, let's go. Code it up, people. Let's go. We live in an area of Utah that is pretty rural compared to the rest of the state. When I first came here in 2010, it was hard. In my classroom, I couldn't even get a cell phone signal. Technology is such a big part of everybody's lives, and so it was really important to me to find a way to use it in the classroom. As I read through what Utah plans for computer science, I was pretty excited about it because what it involves is that every student in every grade band, in every discipline, in every school, will have coding opportunities during the school day. I was a little cautious because I didn't know if we should go too fast with this, but we could see that there was going to be enough excitement that Linda said, we need to go with this thing right now. This is why, because you have a fine fence and you're saying fine fence inside the function. Oh. I've loved teaching coding. This is something new for me the last couple of years. It's been really exciting. I'm a woodshop teacher, not a programming teacher. And so all this stuff kind of is slowly to come. I've learned more and more each year. We decided that we would not worry about if a teacher was capable at the time of being able to teach it. We would target teachers who had a passion about wanting to learn about computer science and wanted to do more with computer science. And then we figured with the right tools, we could train them to be able to be a competent teacher. Even though I've only been teaching it for a couple of years, I feel confident with what I'm teaching right now. I love learning it because I know that I have the support to do it. She lets us figure things out on our own, but then if we really get stuck, she helps us. I think that he's a really helpful teacher, and he's always doing his best to help us challenge ourselves, but also understand what we're doing in the easiest way possible. Okay, we're going to create a new sandbox up here, so go to Code HS real quick. We could do width minus or plus equals after the count, because then it will change the width every time it runs through. Yeah. Color's got to be kept from this, yeah. We're kind of our own beast down here. We have to figure out our own professional development. We have to kind of do our own thing. So when I found Code HS, it checked all the boxes. It was just everything that we had been looking for. We fail all the time. That's what debugging is all about. They get into it and they see, well, that didn't work. It's problem solving skills is what computer science is. And so many of the kids don't have those because they avoid the problems altogether because they're difficult. But this allows us to take it one step at a time. I like it because I've always wanted to be a game designer. You want the character to move when someone presses a certain button, you have to code that into the game. If they never take a hands-on class, if they never take a CTE class, students are never going to realize if it's for them or not. When you look at the career opportunities for students, there's so many different areas that this one skill can apply to. This is a profession where you can get into it and have jobs waiting for you. The jobs are everywhere. You learn the skill and the job's going to find you. Right now, even in sixth grade, they're 11 and 12 years old. But they can look at that and say, hey, I really like that, and I want to move more in that direction. And they have opportunities here to do that. Into some Carol challenges that were further down. Last year, we were instrumental in having all of our sixth grade students take creative coding, and that was due in large part to Code HS and our strategic initiative with them. It's about a thinking process with critical thinking and problem solving that transitions into any aspect of your life. It's not about teaching everyone to code. It's teaching everyone how to think creatively and solve the world's problems.